Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. And today is a continuation video number two on how to install our detection lab. This is what we are going after. By the time we are done, we should have a lab that is detecting attacks in our network and also collecting a lot of other metrics. Last time we installed in our video number one, our Ansible virtual machine in VMware ESXi. And we also installed our Ubuntu machine, which is what we're going to be running our lab on. So today we're going to install Ansible and the actual Elk Sim solution. I'm going to be using automated tools from my GitHub page. You're going to see that I have this repo. This is the repo that we're going to be using. We will automatically install Ansible on our CentOS 7 and we'll also automatically install Elk Sim. So all you need to do is clone this repo and run the different uh, scripts here. And I'm going to show you that. So first thing is let's install Ansible on our machine here. This is on 192.168.5.72. So our Ansible machine is on 5.72. And let's accept that. Put our password. You can add your SSH keys in here. So you see our machine's name is called Ansible 2. See, we have nothing in here. First thing that we need to do is uh, install Git so we can clone things. So it's CentOS, so we can do a yum uh, sudo su first to become root. And then um, let's do a yum install git. So we can actually uh, download, clone our repo. So the first thing is let's install git. Let's go to our repo and get the code to, to clone. So just copy this. and paste the link to our git repo. This is going to clone our, our repo. If you do an ls, now we see we have our elk sim. So now let's go to that. If we do an ls here, you see that I have um, the site.yaml. That's what we're going to use to install Elastic Sim. Then we have an install ansible.show. So this is what we're going to be using to install ansible. On this machine so let's just try to run the install ansible okay so it's, we need to change the permissions here so ansible.show now let's try to run it so this is going to install ansible for us so lucky for you you don't have to work too hard we have a script that's doing this i did not write this script someone else did i gave them credit on our repo so if you want to read more about this script, I highly suggest that you go and follow this link here. And it will show you all the code and how you're installing Ansible. For the sake of our time, I'm just going to show you that this is going to install Ansible for us. And once it installs Ansible for us on this Ansible machine, I'll show you a few configurations that, that you need to change to our Ansible.yaml. What we're doing right now is the first part on CentOS. We're installing Ansible using the script. Then the next, we're going to install Elk Sim. And to install Elk Sim, we're going to use this right here, site.yaml. This is going to download all the components for our Sim solution for us. All you need to change in this file is this IP address. This IP address has to match your Sim server's IP address. So in this case, for us, it's going to match uh, this IP address here, 192.168.5.71 because that's what mine is. So you need to change that IP address to yours. That's the one place you need to pay attention to. All right. So let's let this finish here. All right, so this is installing all the requirements for Ansible. But if you want to manually install Ansible, uh, just go to Ansible. If you go to the Ansible documentation, you should be able to see the installation here. Uh, depending on your platform. So if you don't want to do what we are doing with CentOS, make sure to install it from here. Otherwise, um, this is going to install it for us automatically. All right, so once our in installation is complete, the first thing that we need to do is, uh, we should now have a, in such etc Ansible, we should now have that directory. If you do an ls, you now have a host. If you do an ls, you'll see that we just have the host. If you say a vi, host you will see that um, 
it says local host. So first thing that we need to do is let's create our host file here. This is a clean one. We just do that and ours is going to be called elk servers. Our IP address for our elk server, remember it's 192.168.5.71. So I need to put it in here. One and I will need to add my Ansible user is going to be called um, that name. That's the user that I'm signing into my machines. You can create a different user if you want, but that's the user that I have on all my clients. All my clients are going to be using this as an uh, Ansible user. So that's my Ansible user. Once you are done, write in quit. So now all we have is a host file. Uh, if you already have Ansible, you can now just clone the repo by running number four or copy the repo from wherever you downloaded it. It doesn't matter, but I'm just going to copy it again. As you can see now in my etc Ansible, I now have my repo of sim. So with that repo, all I need to do is go to that directory. In here, this is where we have our site.yaml and our, we also have that install script that we don't need. We're not using our roles this time. So let's just focus on the site.yaml. So let's do a vi site.yaml. If you're not right, if you're not in root mode, you need to um, make sure that you can sudo and edit this. So now let's find one into 168.5.71. This is where you need to go and change this line here. Put this to your IP address. If you don't put this to your IP address, it's not going to work. This is going to be the IP address of your Elk SIM. So every way where you see this, you're going to be changing. So there's Elastic Host here. Then uh, if you scroll down a little bit, uh, the Elastic Search right there and our Kibana configuration is, as well. So change these. Everywhere you see 192.165.71, change that to your IP address. Next time I'm going to develop this so we can just use a more mature model, say um, variables. But for now, this is what we, we need to change. So once you update those, save and quit. Next, what we need to do is we need to now establish SSH connection from this Ansible machine to our Elk SIM. So for Ansible to work, we're going to be using SSH. So the first thing that we need to do is um, SSH dash key gen. If you don't already have your keys and it says, yes, we want to create our keys. Yes, again, I'm not putting a password. So if I do a cat dot SSH. So this is the public key that we need to copy to our um, other machine, our 192.168.5.71 machine. So we need to be able to establish SSH from here to the machine that we want to configure. And we'll be doing this with every machine that needs to communicate with our Ansible. So to do that, we just need to do uh, run this command here. And this is how you can add your public key to a remote machine. SSH copy ID, and we're copying this, which is this ID to the remote machine using an existing user to that machine. So we say yes, it needs our password. So now we need to configure it using Ansible. This is the most important part. This is where we are installing Ansible. I mean, uh, Elk SIM. Um, so before we install, let's just do a cat site.yaml so I can sort of tell you what's going on in here. We're doing two things. We're installing Elasticsearch, which is our database and stuff. Then we're installing Kibana and we are configuring them to talk to each other. So when you look in here, we are downloading the packages. And in this case, we're going to be installing 7.8.1. Uh, we're changing the config IP address to 0, 0, 0, 0. This is not safe, but uh, this is going to allow us to communicate with all our hosts in our lab but in production, you wanna change this to be uh, a proper uh, IP address. Then um, the port is already set to 9200, so this is good stuff. 
If you're running a firewall on your Ubuntu machine, make sure to open these ports as well. We're naming it the node to node one. You need this name just in case you have multiple nodes. In this case, we have one node and we only have one cluster. Then after that, we are also installing Kibana and doing the same thing, putting the server.host here. And you'll see that we specify the host as Elk servers. This is what we specified in the host file in our Ansible configuration. And then um, the reason why I put this here is because sometimes you might want your Kibana to run on a different server than the one is Elasticsearch. So I left these lines here so that we can scale in the future. So once you do that, we are specifying the ports uh, for even Filebit. Uh, we are installing Filebit using the same in in installation information. So if you want to install this manually, you can. Otherwise, use this playbook. All that's left for us, now that we have connectivity to our machine, is to run the playbook. And this is how to install the whole thing. Site.yaml. But we need to run this playbook as root on the other machine. So let's put minus K. And to become root there, let's put our password. And this is going to run our playbook on our remote machine. And if everything works, this is going to automatically start installing everything that we need. And this takes a few minutes for it to fully complete. So I highly suggest that um, once it starts, you can go and grab your coffee, um, do what you have to do, and then uh, come back when it's done. All right, so when he, everything works and everything is done, this is what you're going to see. Everything succeeded. And again, let's walk through what we did here. We installed uh, the requirements, which is Java. We downloaded the Debian package for Elastic. And we installed Elastic, which is the database in the engine. We installed Kibana. We installed uh, Logstash. And we installed Filebit. In the next videos, I'm going to show you how to configure Filebit Logstash to send data to our SIM. But so far, it says everything has succeeded. And if everything works very well and it, it succeeded, we should now be able to just go to 192.168.5.71 on port 5601. And this is what you should see. So right here is where you will be when... Uh, the configuration works. So this shows that we successfully installed our Elk SIM. So that is where I'm going to end for today. In the next videos, I'm going to show you how to add data to this Elk SIM from different hosts in your network. By the time everything is done, we should have a dashboard that looks like this. So just remember our goal. Otherwise, like my videos, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.